can't show you reincarnation is in the Bible. And we are our ancestors. So if you hear me say sometimes, go holler at your ancestors. Go holler at your ancestors. We are our ancestors. But when I tell them Edomites that, I'm team men, men saying, go holler at your people. You see? Because we all we all been here one before and we back here again. Okay? That way you get deja vu in. Man, get them glitches. Deja vu, you say, man, I've been here before. Because you have. The most high just wiped out your memory. Okay. All right? This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 1. For the ungodly said reasoning with themselves, but not aright. Mm -hmm. Our life is short and tedious, mm -hmm. and in death of a man there is no remedy. Right, because that's the way Esau lived, okay? And then they tell you our people live like that too. Why? Because they have been taught the ways of Esau. Hold on, let me get, let me edify that. Let me edify that. Psalm 106. Psalm 106. It's uh, Psalms 106, Psalms 106 and 35. But we are mingled among the heathens and learn their works. It's Psalms 106 and 35. But we are mingled among the heathens and learn their works. And then it tells you in Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, learn not the ways of the heathen. Okay? So it's telling you right there. Read that uh, Solomon, Wisdom of Solomon, Wisdom. chapter two. Wisdom of Solomon, two and one. Right. For the ungodly say reasoning with themselves, mm -hmm. but not aright. Our lives are short and tedious, mm -hmm. and in the death of a man there is no remedy. Right, because that's the same way Esau lived, going after his lust. You see, living in the moment. He don't care. He don't think that he's gonna get paid back for what he's doing and what he has done in the past. Okay, so he's living in the moment. All right. Neither was there any man to, to, to have known return from the grave. Right. For we are born at all adventure. Mm -hmm. We shall be hereafter, and though we have never been, for the breath of our nostrils is as smoke, a little spark in the moving of our heart. So that's telling you right there, that's the way they think. That's the way these so-called white people think today. And our people have learned their ways, so they think like that too. Okay? But we talking about Esau right now. And he think, look, uh, I ain't gonna be back, so I'm gonna just get it right now. But he don't know it's reincarnation in the spirit. I mean, yeah, it's reincarnation and your spirit come back. Most I say he get you first, second, third, fourth generation, those who hate me, okay? Which being extinguished, our bodies shall be turned into ashes, mm -hmm. and our spirits shall vanish as soft air, mm -hmm. and our names shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our our works in remembrance, mm -hmm. and our life shall pass away as, as the trance of a cloud. So, that's the way, see, that's why uh, when we talk about, uh, when we say hell, and in the scriptures say hell, when the Lord was talking, he was talking about Hades, he was talking about uh, Guyana, and Guyana, go back to the, uh, in the Hebrew, go back to Hinnom, which is in Jeremiah, the, I think it's either Jeremiah the 19th chapter, I think that's where it's at, I'll look before I, you know, in a minute. But that was talking about how Israel was sacrificing their kids and burning trash. So when the Lord was speaking on that, he was saying, look, those are the conditions you're going to suffer if you, uh, uh, if you sin. Okay? So those conditions are played out on earth because every spirit goes back to the Heavenly Father. What's that, uh, 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 Ecclesiastes 12 and 7? Every spirit goes back. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Yeah, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. And then, in wisdom, I mean in uh, Ecclesiastes, in, uh, let me, let me get it. Let me make sure, let me get it. It says, uh, to prove that it ain't no such thing as hell, and we gonna get into it, we gonna bring out more scriptures to edify. It says, uh, this Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was 
and the spirit shall return unto Yahweh Shem Yahweh who gave it. So that let you know that every spirit goes back to the heavenly Father and His Son. And then it tells you over here in uh, Ecclesiastics, uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 16, it says, uh, and moreover, I saw under the under Salakia, the Greek. Salakia, Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. Okay? That wicked, the wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. So under the sun. As a people, we are under the sun. So anything that's under the sun is on the earth. So righteousness and wickedness was there. So righteousness is played out on the earth and wickedness is played out on the earth and judgments are played out on the earth. Okay? So it's no such thing as hell. But since you don't read, you don't understand. And since you're not part of the elect, it's not for you. You see? Because you don't understand. Only the elect going to get this. Pursuing the, uh, Ephesians 1 and 13. All right. Uh, verse 5. For our time is a, is a very shadow that passed away. And after our end, there is no returning. For it is fast sealed, so that a no man cometh again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that, that word, when I was talking about Hinnom, it's in Jeremiah 19 and uh, 2. Right. This is that right there, verse six. Verse uh, five is what the ungodly man would say. Yeah, that's Esau okay. and Cain and these so-called white people today because they are descendants of Esau and of Cain. I'm gonna read that again. For our time is very, a very shadow that passed away. And after our end, there is no returning. For it is fast sealed, so no man cometh again. So yep. that's why they always, like the brothers say, living in the moment, doing all kind of crazy shit, climbing mountains, running cars at 500 miles an hour, yep. driving rockets, doing all kind of crazy shit. Yeah, and the, in tanks with snakes and shit. And if I and if I people doing it, Negro, Latino, and Native American, they learned it from the so-called white man. Okay, that's why two thirds got to be put to death of our people. We got this precept, John 11 and 23. Yeah, how was I said unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Yeah, how was I said to her, I am the resurrection and the life, and he that believeth in me, that he that he were dead, yet shall he live. See, that's simple. It's showing you, Yahweh Shai is showing you where, that was a thing that was Lazarus, right? That Lazarus, yeah, Lazarus, Lazarus had died. He rose Lazarus from the dead. Yeah. That was him talking to Lazarus' sister. And that's symbolic for the nation of Israel. Yeah. Lazarus is. Lazarus, yeah. So, you gonna rise again, man. So when you pass on, the scriptures say, man, your spirit go to the Lord who gave it. Then you come back through, through a sperm. Having sex with a woman. Through that seed, through the man. Good. So okay. the men we sitting around, hey, we got we got babies, we carrying babies daily. <laughs> Alright, and then and then the woman say, I created you. Nah, hell no. Nah. Oh. Hell no, nah. the most I done that. You don't understand Good. the scriptures. You don't know Good. nothing. And whosoever liveth and dwelleth in me shall never die. Believe it, thou this. See? So that's what we doing, man. The reincarnation. We know, we know what the spirit does. It's like Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 say, man, that thing that which has been shall be done, and there's nothing new under the sun. You don't remember, you don't remember the former life. And we won't remember this life when we leave here. Yeah. That's why, that's how we know Esau is Cain and the so-called white man in 2012 is Esau. He came to the spirit. That's how we know Jacob is Abel and the Israelite men of the day is Jacob. We know that. Yeah, this, this for you stupid scatterbrain 
who think the uh, the woman create the man. This for you stupid. But he go the, the seed passed through him, but she didn't create him. Okay? This a woman in 2 Maccabees chapter 7 and 21. Yea, she exalted, she exhorted every one of them in her own language. I mean she was speaking Hebrew. Filled with courage, cur I mean, filled with courageous, courageous spirit, courageous spirit with a courageous spirit. So like it, let me read that shit. It says, yea, she exhorted every one of them in her own language, filled with a courageous spirit, and stirred up her womanish thoughts with a manly stomach. She said unto them, how can to them uh, verse 22 I cannot tell how ye came into my womb that's plain so she was talking about her sons she said she couldn't even tell how they came into her womb basically said she don't know how they were formed she don't know how it came about but she had sex but she don't know how it was formed in her belly because it was the spirit of Yahweh that done it mystery you see, it says, for I can neither give, for I, hold on, for I neither gave you breath nor life, neither was it I that formed the members of, of every one of you. So that's telling you, the woman that had, that had understanding of y'all bashing out with shot was telling you right then, she don't even know how it happened. That was so, uh, Judas Maccabees and Paul, wow. right? No. Nah. Wasn't that Judas their mother? Uh, what is going in? Yeah, that was, yeah, 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 yeah. So like, yeah, yeah. Okay? okay? So, to let you know, look, for you to put comments up there and say the woman, the man come from the woman, that's why I read that scripture, because I know you got plenty of scatterbrains out there. Because when we plant, we plant seeds in the earth, the earth is what nourishes the seed to grow. So you plant uh, an apple tree is not the same as a cucumber, but it uses that same earth to get nourished. So that's why when you want a woman, when you take when you take a seed from a man, it is that seed, the seed that you take in, it is what that man is. You just nourishing that seed to grow. So if you go sleep with an Edomite, then you sleep with a, a Jake, then you go sleep with a, a Moabite, a Chinese man, you got three kids right there who ain't no kin to each other. They just came through the same vessel, the same woman. They ain't no kin. Uh, I get yeah. Job's, Job's, this is, I'm gonna get one in Job. Job 7 and 1. Right. Is there not an appointed time to man upon the earth? Question. So this, so this Job, Job going through all this hell. Okay, when you read the book of Job, Job was an upright man. And he feared Yahweh Shem Abishai. He feared the Most High. So this is Job speaking right here. Is there not an appointed time to man upon the earth? Or well, not his days also like the days of a hireling. Yeah, meaning you come and you go. Okay, that's what he was saying. It's a point in time. It's a point in time when you be born on this earth. It's a point in time when you be put to death. Okay. All right. Job 14 and uh, 13. Yeah. Oh, Job that, 14 verse 13. Oh, that thou would have hid me in the grave. Wait. He said, oh thou would hit me in the grave. But Job catches so much hell, he'd rather die. He'd rather die, yeah. And if you look up that word, if you look up that word grave, it's Sha'al in the Hebrew, which means grave. It don't mean hell burning or nothing like that. It's the earth going the, the, going back into the uh uh the dust in the ground. Going back to the uh the dust. You know, going back to the earth. Alright? That thou would have keep me secret until thy wrath been passed. Yeah, until all just keep him in secret, meaning cover him up in the earth. Because somebody buried, they covered up. You don't see him. That's a secret. Okay? You kept it secret. Somebody hiding, you don't see him. That's a secret. So he said, look, keep me a secret, bury me in the earth. 
I'm tired. I can't take it no more. Okay? Which eventually he told Job to gird his loins. And take it, you know, gird thy loins up. Basically take it as a man. Alright? Until the wrath be kept me secret. Until the, until the wrath be passed. Yeah. That thou would have appointed me at a set time. Yeah, what's the set time? Well, basically Job to come back and he have everything be right again. You know, you won't be going through so much hell. You see? Right. And remember me, if a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time, will I wait until my change come? Uh -huh. thou, thou shalt call, and I will answer thee, thou wilt have a desire to the works of thy hands. For now the numbers my steps, thou dost thou not watch over my sins? No, no start back up. Start back up at verse. Start back up at verse 13 and stop at 14. Okay. Job 14 and 13. Oh that thou Oh, thou would have hid me in the grave. Yeah. Thou would, would, thou would, would have kept me secret until thy wrath be passed. Yeah. But Jay, Joe wanted to die. Okay. That thou would have appointed me a set time. And that let you know, and what is it, Joe, the second chapter, when the Most High took counsel with Satan and said, look, go get my servant. That's Joe. Yes, yeah, put hell on them, but you just can't kill them. Put hell on them. So they let you know there's a spiritual, there was a spiritual Satan, and there's a physical uh, uh, Satan. Okay. And the physical Satan on the earth is Esau, the white man. Okay. And remember me, if a man die, shall he live again? Right. All the days of my appointed time. Will I wait till my change come? Yeah, so that Job telling you, if a man dies, shall he live again? Yes. That's why he wanted to go and die, get it over with, and come back until my until his appointed time. You see? For these, for there oh, is uh, Job fourteen and seven. For for the for there is hope of a tree if it be cut down that it will sprout again and that the tender branch thereof will not cast will not cease cease it's a lot yeah I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a read it it says this Job 14 and 7 for the hope for for there is hope of of a tree if it's if it be cut down that it will not sprout again and that and that the tender branches thereof will not not cease. So that's telling you, Joe using that as symbolic, saying, look, he using that symbolic as a person, saying, look, even though a person is cut down, will he not come back again? Will he not be uh, 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 spring back on the earth again? All right, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna prove to, prove to you the same way David was speaking. He used the same he used the same uh, uh, sim, the same symbolism, symbolicness, in uh, in Psalms uh, 52 and 8. Psalms 52 and 8. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of the Most High. That's plain. I trust in the mercy of the Most High forever and ever. Yeah, that's plain. Yeah. All right. That was Psalms uh, 52 and 8. All right. Give me Matthew uh, 22, verse 23. And let's see what the Lord said about reincarnation. Okay. Matthew 22, verse 23. The same they came him, Sadducees, which say they there is no resurrection, and ask him, saying, Master, Moses said, if a man die, having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. Yeah, that's put in the law. Okay. Now, there there were with us seven brethren. Meaning somebody, no, that's in the law. There you go. You seven brethren, 
And the first, when he married his wife, deceased, and having no and no issue, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also, and the third unto the seventh. Seventh, the last of the of the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven? Yeah. For they all had her. Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Ye do error, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of Yahweh. For in the resurrection, they neither marry, nor are given into marriage, but are as the angels of the Most High in heaven. Right. So the angels in the heaven don't marry meaning they don't have sex. So, you got an order in the heavens, in the spiritual world. Okay? You got an order. So the Lord is telling you, yeah, it's reincarnation, it's an order, but they don't marry or have sex. So he's telling you right there. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have you not read which is spoken unto you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but the living. Now he going